Today I am in windy and cloudy, beautiful San Francisco. My hair is crazy, this is what happens in high humidity. But today I'm going to talk about developing the gift of the gab. I went to a meeting with a potential client and the guy who was there, one of the personal trainers, he said that he was born with the gift of the gab. And what that basically means is that you can chat, 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 chat and you never run out of things to say and you always have stories, you always have things to say, that sort of thing. So today I'm going to tell you how you can develop it if you're a socially shy person or you just feel like sometimes you don't know what to say or you run out of things to say, this is how you get over it and develop that gift of the gab and never run out of things to say. So the first thing you have to do is to develop a practice of improvisation. Okay, so improvisation and you can take an improv class, you can do improv courses or you can look up improv exercises online but a good example of an improv exercise is the yes and exercise where I say something and then you say yes and and you just agree on it. So the first thought that comes to mind, I'm thinking orange. I say yes and and I think yes and apple, right? Because there's an orange and there's an apple. And then I think yes, there's a bowl of fruit. And then as soon as I think about there being a bowl of fruit, I think of an entire meal. And then from the meal, there's people sitting around and who are those people? Well, now I'm thinking of people. And the first person I think of is Gandhi or, or Muhammad Ali. And now Gandhi and Muhammad Ali are in a boxing fight. And they're in the middle of the match and Gandhi's trying to keep Muhammad clean and, and pure, but Muhammad is, is fighting him. So you see what I've done now? I've gone from orange and I have said yes and and I've taken the concept of the orange, which was the first thing that came to my mind, and I agreed upon it, and I agreed with it, and I came up with something that went extra to it, and I ended up with Muhammad Ali and Gandhi in a boxing fight. So I didn't run out of things to say there, and you can see that's a perfect example. Um, that's, that's like the concept of improvisation, where you just continue to talk based on the previous thing you said. And this flows nicely into a concept called free association, where you just associate anything that just happened or just you just thought of and you freely associate it with the next thing. So the exercise here is what you have to do is think of a word, any word, pineapple. I don't know why I always go to fruit. <laughs> and then take a deep breath in and then come up with the next word. Okay, so thumb. And it probably because I just flicked my finger and thumb, I just thought of thumb. Okay, but it doesn't matter. The, the point is, they're not meant to be closely connected. They're meant to be completely free from each other. So I say grass because I'm seeing grass. <sighs> Donkey. So I just breathed and the first thought that came into my mind was unrelated to grass. Okay, so that's, the, that's like the free association game. And you want to just do this in your general conversations. So when someone says something to you, you should be able to pick up on at least three things in every sentence that anybody says. So for example, you say, hey, how are you today? And some, someone says back, yeah, I just got back from the gym and I had dinner, I had a burger, right? So you've got gym, dinner, burger. So when you think of gym, what's the first thing you think of? When you think of dinner, what's the first thing you think of? When you think of burger, what's the first thing you think of? And then that's how you have free flow conversations like that. Because you just listen to what the person says, you free associate from words that they've said and then you just carry on. Another exercise is the random word, one word story exercise. So try this. You have any, any random word. Think of a word right now, um, daffodil, and then create a, create a story around that. So I saw an old lady who had a daffodil in her hand and her entire life she was using this daffodil um, to get money to give to her homeless friends. But one day she lost this daffodil she didn't know what to do, she was starving. Uh, you see what I'm doing here, I'm just making up, a, making up a story as I go. And it completely doesn't matter what the story is, okay? The point is just to free associate. Now when you do all this thing and you learn to free associate and you practice this, this should be a daily practice. There should be another mental criteria which you should follow so you can develop this gift of the gab and never run out of things to say. And that is, you wanna lower your criteria for success. A lot, of reason, a lot of the reason why people run out of things to say is they think they need to say the right thing at the right time. It has to be perfect. Like you, you think of a joke, but you don't say it because you think people might not find it funny. So you filter it. And if you want to have this gift, you have to develop the, the, the no filter. So you just say anything. Like, do you think my Muhammad story, the Muhammad and Gandhi story was good or the old lady with the daffodil story was good? 
they're nonsense, right? They're complete rubbish and not everybody will find them funny. But you just remove that filter, you remove your, your criteria for success. Your criteria for success should be like terrible stories. So if you do these two balancing things, the mental side, you remove the filter and you remove your criteria of success, uh, you, you lower your criteria of a successful thing to say and you practice this habit of free association, the one word stories and, um, and those improv exercises we talked about, I promise you, you, you will be able to develop this gift of the gab and you will never run out of things to say. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe below if you like videos like this and you want to watch more of them. It's a good idea. I'm going to watch epic videos now. So goodbye.